morning, good afternoon, wherever you're at. Uh, this is Ricky Benamento. I'm just here to give you guys um, an announcement. It's election day. I want you guys to go out and vote your conscience. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. You obviously know who I'm voting for. Um, I'm going to be voting for secure borders. I'm going to be voting to end the world wars. I'm going to be voting to terminate this crazy inflation and um, horrible spending that we've been um, partaking in as a country. It's been horrible. The radical woke. Um, just look at what's happening in our schools. We have sexual education running rampant all over society, far beyond just traditionalism or letting families choose how they want to raise their ch children, the way they want to bring up values. We have transgenderism. We have atheism. We have hedonism. We have um, witchery and sorcery. Everything's just crazily on the loose. We have lost our foundational values for a large chunk of our population in America. We were founded on Christian Judeo values. We were founded on America first, not America last. We were founded as the United States of America, not the United Nations of America. We were founded and were raised on the principles of taking care of our elders, of taking care of our seniors and our elderly, listening to them, making sure that they have the protections they needed. And we've had good Democratic presidents like FDR and JFK, Democrats in the past who have pushed for things like Medicare and Social Security and making sure that there's welfare for those that need it. Then we've had some Republican presidents in the past, like Nixon, who had us in better relations with China and um, had uh, unfortunately had scandals. There's always been scandals. We had Reagan actually pull us out 40 years ago around this time, well before I was even born, from something called the Cold War, which was essentially a war between Russia and the United States where we had nuclear missiles aimed at each other, and that could have very well been World War III. Now we're in a similar situation. We have multiple fronts of world war. We have Russia and Ukraine. We have Israel and Palestine. We have China and Taiwan, which is, in my opinion, just on the brink of happening. If we don't get strong leadership and deterrence to deter other countries from going to war, from ripping us off with trade, taking advantage of us, from just having our open border full of drugs and sex trafficking and, unfortunately, child abductions. There's 320,000 children that went missing. There's drugs everywhere. Um, Crime is up. Suicide is up. Um, robbery is up. Nobody can afford to live. Nobody has anything to turn to to believe in. I'm going to tell you right now, only Jesus can make America great again. But only one of these two candidates will openly say Jesus is Lord. Only one of these two candidates will openly say God bless America. Only one of these two candidates will openly say Merry Christmas. The other candidate says when you say Jesus is Lord, they tell you they're at the wrong rally. When they say God bless America... She does, says it, but it's with all empty words. It's empty words to them. Just She'll say whatever she needs to say on either side to get you to go to her side. And another thing, when Trump says we're going to say Merry Christmas again, she said, how dare you say Merry Christmas? Because until every illegal immigrant, people who don't even belong here, have health care, have housing, have food, she wants to give everything to everybody else. Until everybody has that, we're not allowed to say Merry Christmas. Well, guess what? We're going to say Merry Christmas and God bless America. We're going to elect Donald Trump, the 45th and 47th president of the United States today here in Pennsylvania here across the nation. She's not going to run the blue wall. He's going to run through the South. I, I expect him to win all these swing states because this should not even be a competition. If this was a generation ago without the demographic changes, this wouldn't even be a competition if this woke mob hasn't run wild on society. And I'm here with Cork on the Columbia Talk podcast. We're about to do a broadcast today. This is special election day coverage. Now, after this, whatever happens, we're going to try to take this podcast and go back to the roots, which is our foundations of Talk all things Columbia. I'm in Columbia, PA. And this is a very historical political town. This is the crux of American society right here. This goes back to the Civil War, this town right here. And the reason that the United States is a free nation for all people is because that bridge was burnt, Veterans Memorial Columbia Wrightsville Bridge. That is the reason we have freedom right now. And right now, the only party I see fighting for freedom is Donald Trump and the Republicans. He wants the working man to have money in their pocket and, and not have elections where people aren't elected but selected, like Kamala Harris. When they saw Joe Biden faltering, they erased him and replaced him. They erase and replace. If they can do it to Joe Biden, they'll do it to any one of you. Because as soon as Joe Biden was not performing the way they wanted him to, they ditched him on the side of the road, and it was as if he never existed. He just lives out the term as a lame duck. And honestly, if they can do that to the President of the United States, they will do it to you. They are coming for you and me and others to take our free speech. That's why Elon Musk and other individuals that are rallying with Trump. I mean, Democrats, Elon Musk, Tulsi Gabbard, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., the list goes on. 
many Republicans that were never Trump in 2016 are now with him, like Lindsey Graham and Rand Paul and many others. There are so many good voices. There are voices, and he's bringing people, Arab Americans, Jewish Americans, Black Americans, Latino Americans, White Americans. He's bringing everybody together. I even seen gay, gays for Trump, believe it or not, because they want to be able to live in a country where we're not at the threat of war abroad and being invaded. There is an invasion on our southern border. He's going to enact the Act of 1798, and that act means that it's a it's a criminal act where if you cross our border, that's a, that's a national terrorist <coughs> threat. So they're going to take care of that. He's going to take care of all these things. If you watch, this war in Russia and Ukraine may be settled before he's back in office, provided he wins tonight or tomorrow. Well, I'm hoping it's tonight. Let's work on Columbia Talk Podcast and keep Cork alive here for this vote tonight. Love you guys. Get out and vote. Donald J. Trump, J.D. Vance for president. God bless. Vote Republican in your local down ballots.